Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. This is it. It's Trimble Tech. It's Granberry. It is big time, prime time district basketball. Lady Pirates come in with two district losses, Trimble Tech with one. And this is for second place, basically, what we're talking about right here. And we've got underway here as Kennedy Shellstad is at the free throw line, missing two free throws. But the turnover by Trimble Tech, and the Lady Pirates will have the ball. I'm joined by. Sid, Sydney Carpenter. How you doing, Sid? I'm wonderful. How are you? Oh, and this good stuff right here. I'm looking forward to the rest of this game happening. Seeing who ends up getting second. Shot put up outside. It's down. Crystal Allen for two. So, Tremble Tech starts the scoring with Crystal Allen hitting her two. And we have some not so happy news from Fort Worth. Amber Strange will have the ball. They finally got the ball across half court. This is going to be a problem for the Lady Pirates. Lady Bulldogs are already playing a tough defense. No kidding. Pressing all the way. For the long three is no good. Rebound. Out it goes to Morgan. Here's Kennedy in the lane. She'll drive it, lay it up, and miss again. Tip. No good. Rebound by Bryce. So Bryce puts it back down to tie this thing at two. Well, I tell you what, if that's any indication of what we're in store for, we got three rebounds down there, Sid. Oh, yeah. It took control of those boards. Already I can see some of the height advantage on Lady Pirates' part. Turnover by Tremble Tech. It goes ahead to Kennedy. On down to Bryce underneath. Oh. Bryce is fouled, but she still shoots and misses. Goes out. Morgan is going to come away with it. Kennedy from the corner. No. Well, I tell you what, they're not a pro not having a problem to put up some shots. We need to. Allen will shoot again down at the other end. Misses, and Caroline pulls down the board. Caroline will get it down to Morgan. Bryce is outside. She's going to drive the baseline. Why not? Ball is something. <laughs> Desperation pass. In the corner it goes. Left hander put up from the corner is no good. Strange pulls down the board. Here goes Trimble. Here goes Granberry again. And down goes to Kennedy. Kennedy underneath is Bryce. Easy pickings. Bryce straight again. Bryce now with all four of the Lady Pirates points. And Trimble Tech is getting ready to have all four, five, all five new starters. Are you kidding me, really? Whatever strategy works best for them. Five. I'm really, not sure. I'm not either. Ball kicked outside. Into the paint, the drive is put up, and the foul is called. They're going to be shooting two. Foul on string. Number 22, Aaron Backus, shooting two. So Backus with an opportunity to tie this thing up. Just played just about three minutes here in the opening quarter. First one is so good. Three subs coming in. Four subs coming in and one more after that. I have a funny feeling about this. Sid. We're just seeing the starting five coming in. That's what I was thinking. Uh -huh. And I, I mean I got a little a little nervous about that. And I mean we'll it's find tricky. Out. Yeah, we'll find out real shortly. Amber Strange pulls down the board, so they miss on both ends of it. Forrest, oh. one from the back, another foul is going to be called on Trimble Tech. That was on Reed. Number 10, Tierra Malone into the lineup. Oh. Kennedy with the ball. Oh. Kennedy able to get the thing back. Gets the ball to Bryce. There's a handoff to Morgan going in. She's going to be shooting two. That was on Reed. Number 22, Morgan Northcutt, shooting two. Did you, see, did you hear those statistics earlier tonight? I sure did. Oh, my gosh. What'd you say, 175 out of 182? Maybe did that crazy. Free throw. Un unbelievable. And she makes another. Wow. Allen in for Triple Tech. 
175 out of 182. That's just sick. I'm not sure if that's accurate. I'm just <laughs> recalling. I think you're right, though. I think that's what it was. And Morgan hits them both. Oh, John Drive taken in. Shot put up. Foul call. By Trimble Tech. Quick turnaround on that. Lady Parks leading 6-2 to two here in the early going. You know, I tell you, this was not a pretty sight when we played them first time. I think they beat us by 15. Oh. Not good news for Fort Worth, as I was saying, as the boys lost to Trimble Tech tonight, 58-56. to 56. That's a heartbreaker. It is. Uh, that's all they've had here as of late is heartbreaking. Past few games we have lost in the last 10 seconds. Exactly. Big all-time pressure here, and oh. Morgan just threw it away. Down to the corner it goes. Shot put up, no good. Rebound taken down by Morgan. Oh, no. Going to have a jump ball called. 6-3 is our score. The possession error will go to Triple Tech here in the early going. They'll take the ball in quickly. It'll go to Cobb. Underneath, a little fade blocked by Morgan. Cubison blocking Morgan. No, it's good. Kennedy, now Bryce acting as point guard. Down it goes to Kennedy. Kennedy's going in. She'll be fouled. Good job of taking it to the hole. I believe the ladies are starting to see that if they can't get shots off and get an offense going, that they might as well just go to the hole and get a foul. Exactly right. Good call, Sid. Hit up that charity strike. Kennedy at the line again. She missed her first two go-rounds. There you go. One more coming for Shellstead here. 419, Lady Pikes leading 7-3. What was that all about? I really am not too sure. Whatever it was, it broke her ribbon and worked. 7-3, Tremble Tech cross half court. Brown will take it down and put the shot up. No good rebound. Uh, Bryce got it. That is going to be off a triple tech. Good job by Amber and Bryce. The ball will go to the Lady Pirates. Caroline Forrest, Morgan Northcutt, Amber Strange, Kennedy Shellstead, and Bryce Frank starting tonight for the Lady Pirates. And triple tech started five girls, but then... It's all been messed up since then, so I'll have to study before I give you the starters for Trimble Tech. <laughs> Bryce kicks the ball back out to Kennedy, oh. who took her eye off of it momentarily, and she's got one in her face. Look out. Caroline is able to save it. Woo. That was too close. Bryce inside and underneath. Puts it up and down. All right. All right. Six for Bryce. They got no answer for 6 3, do they? No. Gonna drive it in. Ball is tipped. Gonna have a scrum for it. Jump ball. No, not called. In the paint for 10 seconds. Oh. Whoa. They called the foul on what? What? Sounds like foul on Rye. For what? With a push. And that girl was in the lane for work number 10 was... She was laying on the floor. Uh, yeah, and she was... Well, never mind. <laughs> and she was in there for about her number. We're obviously biased. Well, it's... Naturally. I just... Give me the, give me the, the Waco chapter or anything like that, but when you're playing Fort Worth schools and the Fort Worth chapter, never mind. Never mind. Oh, what a play by Kennedy, but just not quite. Kennedy Shellstead came in there hustling, trying to get the ball the other way. Great job. It will be Trimble Tech, but in the backcourt. 250 in the first. Lady Parks leading 9-3. Underneath on the drive. No good, Trimble Tech. 
Oh. Bryce gets the board and gets hammered. Good. Five team fouls on Primble's Number one, Lakendra Bassett in the lineup. And number 22, Aaron Backus. Caroline going with the left-handed jump down to Kennedy. Kennedy tried to go to Morgan, but threw it too high. Great attempt at a play. Nonetheless. It certainly was. I had a little break going, but not quite finishing. Check. Philip Bassett all the way down. We'll kick it out to the corner for the three. It comes. It's no good. Bryce reaches in for the jumper. Great job. Lady Pirates will have the ball inbounds. It'll go to Kennedy. Right back to Caroline. Timeout called by the Lady Pirates. Lady Pirates will have the ball on the side here, on the sidelines, right by the Lady Pirate bench. Lady Pirates are going from my right to left. Shellstead with the ball now in the backcourt. she got two up on her, gets it to Morgan. Morgan cross half court. It goes to Strange. Bryce has it in the corner. We'll feed to Morgan, who will put the shot up in the paint. It's no good. And here comes a, just an out the pass. From nowhere, Bryce running the length of the floor to knock it out of bounds. Great job by Bryce Frank on the recovery. She's hustling after it. <laughs> she says, you're not going to score right now. No kidding. Maybe later, but not on my watch. Tremble tackle inbounds underneath, outside. Baseline covered up by Frank. Pass inside. Good defense, Lady Pirates. They'll take it to Amber. Amber takes it all ahead to Bryce. Bryce over to Morgan. It's going to be blocked and out of bounds, but we will have it underneath. <laughs> Ball goes out to Caroline. Inside Amber at the free throw line. Pulls for the jumper. Oh, it rattles in and out and it'll howl. <laughs> Dribble tag down the floor. There's some serious palming. The ball, you kidding me? You can't do that. Well, she could. 
Rebound, no. Amber Strange pulls it out, gets it ahead to Caroline. Lost the handle. It goes to Trimble Tech underneath, wide open. Turnaround jumper is up. It's no good. Rebound pulled down by Caroline. She's trapped under. Gets the ball out ahead to Morgan. And here comes Morgan. Look out. Quick little reach in foul called on Trimble Tech. I have a few subs from Tech coming in. Lady Burns still have the ball with 112 left here in the quarter. Amber with it. Amber to Bryce in the corner to Morgan for the three. Oh. In and out. Amber had it and couldn't quite finish it. And here comes Triple Tech on the drive all the way down the floor. No good. Ball is tipped out. Amber's going to come away with it. We've got a three on two. It goes to Morgan. She's going to try to left hand it in. She's covered up. Oh. The ball is going to be taken by Trimble Tech. Caroline with a foul. One real good thing about this game tonight is that Trimble Tech is extremely cold in shooting. This this young lady, I'm trying to call this young lady's number. Her hair is so long, I can't see her number. I want to say it's 424. Okay. Four. There's a four. Well, there's only, there's only one girl with a four, and that's just number 14. That's uh, oh. quite at the line shooting, too, and they still have not gotten anything completed. 43 seconds left. Score remains 9-3, Lady Pites. Nothing still. Bryce with the board kicks it ahead to Kennedy. Kennedy gets away. A foul is going to be called. And that's going to be one and one. Pretty good crowd tonight. They came up from, to uh, to Granberry from. Uh, I was just thinking Fort that. Worth. Surprisingly large now. This is Kennedy's third trip to the free throw line tonight. There you go. All good. Get that front end of that bad boy. Lady Parks with 37 seconds left. Lead this by 7 to 10 to 3. Oh. Rattles in and out of there. Check with the rebound. Here comes Bassett. Bassett whips it into the corner. The drive inside. Lost the handle. Kennedy got a rip again. Kennedy's going to take the hole. Threw it up. Oh! <laughs> Get it with four points, and it's 12-3, Lady Pirates. Kid's on fire. She, she is. Nine seconds. The bribe by check. Out goes the shot. The three. No. And that's going to be the first quarter. Granberry 12. Scramble check three. What do I want? I want to be seen faster. I want to spend as little time in the waiting room as possible. Less waiting. More taking care of me. At Lake Granberry Medical Center, you'll find the 30 minutes or less ER service pledge. 30 minutes or less? You can even find our average ER wait time online or on your mobile device. Don't wait when you need care fast. Turn to Lake Granberry Medical Center. Learn more at lakegranberrymedicalcenter.com. Mike Brown Ford is locally owned and operated at their beautiful location on Highway 377 in Granbury. They pride themselves in customer service and the built Ford Tough product they represent. With the commitment to excellence motto, they go the extra mile. Mike Brown Ford in Granbury or on the web at MikeBrownAutoGroup.com. With First National Bank of Granbury on your team, it has never been easier to handle your everyday banking needs. We have seven convenient locations throughout Hood County with 24-hour ATM machines at each location. Inside our banks, you will find a friendly, courteous, and knowledgeable staff that has helped First National Bank be voted as Best Bank and Best Mortgage Bank by the Hood County News Readers Poll for three consecutive years. 
Each location has on-site loan officers that are eager and willing to help you with any of your loan needs from personal loans, auto loans, home equity, and mortgage loans. Member FDIC Equal Housing Lender. At Classic Chevrolet, taking care of the customer is their focus. The Classic team is always ready to greet you with a warm smile, whether it be with the used cars, new cars, or with the service department. That's Classic Chevrolet at 1909 East Highway 377 or on the web at ClassicGranberry.com. Relax and enjoy the difference. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. An excellent first quarter set for the Lady Pirates against Triple Tech. And I feel like they adjusted to the defense that Tech presented them, that, them with really well, moving from just like kind of hanging around to going into a press break. An efficient one at that. No kidding, it certainly was. Foul was going to be called to start things off on Granberry. Foul's on straight. We're 22 here and back. It's a blind shooting two. The yeah, Amber's second foul of the night. That's a little too early for another for one of our six footers to have two fouls. Yes. Well, there's a point. It's been a while. But I'm not good with that. Oh, yeah. We have ourselves a nice 12 4 cushion. One more coming for Trample Tech. No. Rebound pulled down by Bryce. Caroline. Caroline down the floor. Looking for Morgan, looking for somebody. He takes the ball over oh. to Amber and threw it away. Tremble Jack will have the ball. We played a pretty, we've had a foul and a turnover to start this second quarter here. Not as good as we played in that first quarter. Ooh. Ball taken outside. Bassett calling the offense in the corner. Looking inside, there's no place to go because of the height by the Lady Pirates. Pass it in the paint. Should just throw up a prayer. Wow. Had an answer. Chill said down the floor. Oh. Lost the handle, and here comes Bassett right back at her. No good. But she's fouled by Caroline. She'll shoot two. That'll be Caroline's second foul as well. When you have a girl making a break down the court, I mean, there's not much you can do unless you're in front of her. So I feel like that's why the Lady Pirates are racking up their fouls. Cause yeah. And we're about to catch up now because that is foul number six on Granberry. Wow. Two fouls, two turnovers to start the second quarter. Rebound pulled down. In the paint it goes, the shot put up, no good. Rebound taken by Morgan in the corner, and she's in trouble. Knocks it off with one of the ladies from Triple Tech's leg. Smart play. Got to do what you got to do. You got it. Because it is 12-7 now. Four unanswered points for Triple Tech. On ahead to Kennedy. Kennedy takes it to Caroline. Mo in the corner. Got the pick and set out to Bryce. There goes Amber across the lane. Shot up. No good. Bryce with the board. And no good. We missed two great shots. Allen down the floor. Morgan call for the shot. And here comes Trimble Tech. That on Northcutt. Crystal Allen with the two and one more coming. It's just starting to get a little scary. We have Amber, Morgan, and Caroline all with two fouls. Wow. And it's just started the second quarter. No good. Rebound pulled down by Bryce. Six unanswered points for Triple Tech. Lady Park has got to have a bucket. Caroline takes it to Bryce. Here comes Kennedy. 
Kennedy lost the handle out of bounds, and it'll be a foul call. Whoa. Thank you. Number 44, get it to shelf, step to the line. Kennedy. She has got on track since those first two. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, she's been a little off and on. Well, give me an on, another one. There you go. There Kennedy. we go. Kennedy. 14-9 now, Lady Pirates by five. Ball kicked outside back in the corner to Bassett, it goes. Bassett slowly brings it outside, picked up by Forrest. Bassett is going to go to the paint to spin the shot. Whoa. Wow. Well, get to Bassett. He's got six. Morgan takes it over to Caroline on ahead to Kennedy. Cross court pass to Morgan. Morgan takes it back out to Caroline, who will drive and put the shot up. No. Rebound. Bryce had it momentarily. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah. I'm so shocked from that spin move. Oh, sweet. Wow. Of course. Yeah, it was. Now it's a three-point game at 14-11. Drive, kick back out. Bassett, what's she going to do this time? The pick is set. She'll just put the shot up from the free throw line. It's no good. And Morgan will pull down the board. Takes the ball ahead to Kennedy, who oh. just let it go right behind her. Are you kidding me, really? Number 11, Carrington Brown on the lineup. We also have Aaron Jones came in for Kennedy. Here comes Lily. And number 10, Aaron Jones. And number 34, Lily Thorne for the Lady Pirates. So I think I got everybody taken care of. Inside. Jumper put up. No good. Rebound pulled down. Turn around. Up. No good. Bryce trying to get a handle on it, but Ernie pulls it down. Aaron kicks the ball ahead to Bryce. And... Saved by Lily, but right back to triple check. Push it on down the floor, underneath, wide open, shot up and down. Crystal Allen. A one point game at 14 to 13. Allen and Bassett with six. Amber will kick it to Bryce. He'll just put the jumper up. No good. No. Oh. Now we've gone ice cold. Push on ahead. It goes. Lost the handle of it. We'll swipe. Granberry ball with four minutes left in the second quarter. Jeez. <laughs> I tell you what, you couldn't be more right about us going ice cold. The no ladies kidding. can't hit a shot. Rebounds aren't happening. Having a hard time even getting an offense started. Maybe they'll make this one work. Lily, Aaron's got it. Aaron pushes on ahead to Bryce. Bryce had the ball tipped out of bounds by McGinnis. It'll be Lady Park's ball. Lily will inbounds here. 14-13, one-point game. Lady Park has scored two points in this second quarter. Lily out top running the offense now for the Lady Pirates. She's in trouble. She'll get the ball to Bryce. Inside, Amber is fouled, and she'll shoot two. We'll take it. Heck yeah, yeah. Good move by Amber. Fouls on Bassett. 41, Amber Strange at the line, shooting two. It'll be Amber's first trip to the free throw line. So far tonight, we haven't had many up at the line. We've had Morgan and Kennedy, now Amber. Missing off the first one. Number 12, Jasmine Minter in the lineup. Got a huge night coming up on Friday night here, Sid. Oh, boy. Back to back, Alito. That's it. Bring on them there, Kat. Amber got one of them. Her first point. Lady Park by two. 15 13. Ball pushed across. Drive. Shot up. No good. Rebound. Bryce. Kicked it on ahead to Ernie, but there is the quick Lakendra Bassett to steal it right back. Ball thrown inside. Bryce is there. 
clean? Where did she foul it? That's what I want to know. Oh. And a whole bunch of subs coming in. We have Kennedy coming in, Caroline coming in. This can put Tribble back in the lead for the first time tonight. No, they didn't. Amber pulls down the board. We'll take it out to Caroline. Allen now with eight points. She leads everyone in scoring. Morgan has it batted right back at her, but it will be Granberry's ball in the 15-15 game. On ahead to Morgan. Morgan gets it over to Caroline Bryce. Underneath the Kennedy. Oh, wow! Give me some of that. Get it, Kennedy. And Kennedy with a stop on the other end. Give me some aggression. That doesn't fire the lady part, no. stuff. I don't know what will. Great job by Kennedy on both ends, and they take the lead back 17-15. Working on the baseline on Bryce. Oh. She worked the foul on Bryce, and that's not good. No, I believe that puts Bryce with three fouls. Hold it, hold it. It's on Hold Kennedy. All right, we'll take it. That's Kennedy's first. Boy. Number five, Crystal Allen, shooting two. Allen with nine. Number 10, Sierra Below in the lineup. And number 10, Aaron Jones. One more coming for Allen. Looks like Coach Andrews moved Kennedy down to post okay. by subbing Aaron in. Wonder what she's got planned. Second one is up and good. Allen has now got 10 points. 17 to 17 is our score. Morgan gets the ball on the head to Ernie. Foul's going to be called. Ernie will go to the line. He'll shoot two. Is that foul nine? Foul two right there. I like that. We'll take it. Foul on Brown. Okay, Aaron Jones the line. Shooting two. There you go. Ernie, we need all we can get tonight. No joke. The way it started, I thought we didn't, but we do now. Oh, yes. <laughs> Every free throw counts no matter when. Great. Nineteen seventeen, Lady Parks with 250. Bassett drives it in. No good rebound. Morgan ball is taken away and put up. Eric Brown with him. Tied it right back up. So no. by Bassett. Put no. it too far. Caroline with the ball kicks it on ahead. Foul call. Boy, they are calling this thing pretty tight, aren't they? No joke. I feel like they're calling any and every foul. Nothing gets past. No kidding. Two thirty one left here in this second quarter. Granberry and Trimble Tech are tied at nineteen. That was pretty bad. Uh, Just barely got the net. No comment. <laughs> Thanks for the help. But <laughs> missed that one. So Kennedy way off. She hit both of them last time. Morgan took it in for the rip. What quick whistle called. Wow. That'll go off good. That'll be Morgan's third foul. Number one, McKendra Bassett, shooting two. It's two for both because we everybody's got ten fouls. Wow. I didn't think that was going to fall. Number 45, Bryce Frank in the lineup. Bassett with one more coming. Yeah. 
and gives them the one-point lead at 20 to 19. But I can tell you the way this thing is going. Wide open down to Bryce. Puts it up. Oh. We're not, she didn't have it up on it, but right back on the other end is Bassett. Easy. Ball taken in. Over to Morgan. Amber pushes the ball ahead to Caroline. Caroline to Bryce. There you go. Bryce makes it a one-point game. Drive in. Are you serious? Crystal Allen for two. She's got 12 points. 24 to 21. Three-point lead for Tremble Tech. Aaron Jones has the ball. Bryce pulls for the jumper. No. Rebound taken by Tremble Tech. Bouncer on the other side, and Caroline comes away with it, takes it on ahead to Morgan. 118 left, down to Bryce. Bryce to Amber in the paint. <laughs> Amber now with three points, cuts it to the one point lead, 24 23. One minute. Bassett out top, just taking a little bit of time off the clock. We're down to 45 seconds and counting. Bassett picked up by Caroline. And that's not an easy chore, I'm telling you. Yeah. She's got some skills. Takes the ball in the paint. Oh. Lost the handle of it. Fight for the ball. Ernie. <laughs> Getting in the scrub with Allen. Thirty-one seconds left here in the half. Tremble Tech with a one-point lead. I don't know what all that mess was about. <laughs> I don't know. Looks like there's some, some pitching between yeah. Ernie and I know it. Caroline Mo. Are you serious? How can you call that a jump ball from way back here? But well, I'm not sure. I mean, jump ball. I mean, she, a girl no, touched a, the ball that Morgan had, and he whistled it. I believe, I believe the official time for calling a jump ball is both people are holding the ball for three seconds. Three, at least. Three. That was approximately a half a millisecond. Uh, yeah. Bassett outside. She'll take the ball in. In the corner for the wide open three. Way long. And that's going to do it. 24 to 23 at halftime. And we'll be back to talk about it right after this.
third to the we have we don't, after this we only have two district games left. That's hard to believe. That is basketball season is of course the longest season of the year, but it feels like it's blown by. It sure does. It sure does. Caroline's looking for someone. She hits Ken. Ken back to Caroline. The ladies are underway. All right, here we go. Back to the same starters. Morgan has the ball. She'll take it. They got Amber outside. Here's Kennedy. She'll j- launch the three. Not quite. Fighting for the rebound. There you go again. Caroline with another rebound. Caroline feeds the ball. Kennedy on the other side. Good in. Here we go. Three. Well, that's what we need right there. Yes. Kennedy in double figures now with 11 points. It's good to see their outside game opening up, and it looks like the ladies are intentionally doing so. It looks like, you know, it's almost like a, there's a follow-up, no. Rebound pull down. It's going to be eventually controlled by Morgan. She's doubled up. Morgan will push the ball on ahead. Here goes Amber. Amber's going to drive. Well, no, she's not. She's going to be called for the offensive foul. Foul is on strange. So Amber was three fouls. I think you know, each team with ten fouls. The, the key to this game is who's going to be left on the floor at the end. Will there be anybody? <laughs> Everybody's got three fouls. I think yes. both teams. Another key thing is free throws. I feel like we're going to be entering bonus territory soon. And- that's when shots get crucial. And here we go again. Boy, they are not. Wow, this is crazy. I mean, they are really calling the fouls. Morgan will have the ball across half court. Caroline calling the offense, getting it set up. Kennedy is there. Morgan. Uh, oh. oh! Turnaround jumper in the paint. Beautiful. Morgan Northcutt now with four points. Lady Park, five straight points. A whistle blown on the other end. Boom. Well. Well, apparently nobody. <laughs> Crystal Allen would got it again. One more oh. coming for Allen. She leads everyone in scoring. She's the lone senior on the Tremble Tech. Like Morgan. Yeah, exactly. Weird. That shows you about Allen now with 14 Yay. points. Lady Pirates up 28 to 26. Morgan. Oh. Oh, nice right. job by Bryce. Takes it on in. No good. Off of check, and it'll be our ball underneath. Caroline will inbounds here. Hopefully, oh. pretty quick. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Bryce, that, I had to be nervous. <laughs> that was a long five seconds, eh? <laughs> Morgan will drive. She'll put it up. No. Switch to the left hand to try to get it to go up. Got her own board. She's going to try another drive. She'll go for the three. Launch it. No. Rebound oh. pulled down by Trimble Tech. And quickly out it goes to Allen. Allen down the floor. She'll go again. Whistle ball. Fall. There was a whistle blown before anything ever happened. Now, how do you do that? No. What? That's Morgan's fourth foul. Oh, my gosh. But it wasn't even a real foul. Drive put in. The foul call. My goodness. This is going to be tough. Oh, we've got, we got two girls with four. We're gonna be in, we're gonna be in trouble. It's getting pretty hairy because they're the way these guys are calling the game. It's 
it's taken, really actually taken both teams out of their game because yes. they're afraid to do anything because they're fouling. No, they can't get anything started when you're nervous that you're going to get a foul called, especially when you're in foul trouble like Amber, Morgan, and Kennedy, and Bryce, and Carolina. All the starters. <laughs> all of our starters are in foul trouble. Kind Missing of. on the second. On the, why was that not a foul? I really don't know. Again, jump ball. Probably a foul. Just kidding. Well, Caroline was, was, I mean, she was hit almost like a running back is by a linebacker. But Trimble Tech ends up with the ball after they tied her up. They're trying to go inside. They did get it inside, and they got, are you kidding me? Wow. Allen for two. And right back into the lead comes Trimble Tech. Allen with 16 points. Kennedy wide open for the three. Not yeah, quite there. And we have stopped getting any rebounds, Sid. I'm not sure if that's because they're afraid that they'll get a foul call because that's where most of the fouls have been called. Or... Here goes a big break. It goes down to Kennedy all the way on the other end. <laughs> Kennedy leading score for the Lady Parks tonight with 13, and they take the lead back 30-29. to 29. Drive in. Falls. Wow. Aaron Backus for two. Ball goes into Kennedy. On ahead to Morgan and back. Oh. Kennedy, she lost the handle. Allen will turn around for the jumper. It's no good. Rebound put back. No good. Rebound by Allen on the other side. Allen will go in and try to draw the foul. Nobody fouls her. She just takes it in easily. She's got 18 points. Morgan, that girl is completely wrapped around her. <laughs> that should be a 15 yard no, no, no. I mean, that was serious holding. Number 22, Aaron Backus, and number 20, Caitlin Reed in the lineup. 33 to 30. Back into the lead. Is Trimble Tech. They'll take the ball to Amber. Amber. Bryce at the free throw line. Morgan will take a drive. Feed to Bryce. No. no. Bryce gets her own. No. Amber with a No. Are you kidding with? Are you. What? How do you do that? Chunk it down court. That's how I'm not. That calls an offensive foul. Well, <laughs> I'm good. I don't know if I've seen fouls fall like this in a long time. Like they're giving them out for free or something. Obviously. Do I find the Oprah Winfrey show and everyone gets a free foul? Kennedy. Well, here's the three by Morgan. No. A whistle called on who? What? Why oh, for you? That would be Kennedy with what? her fourth foul. I didn't see that foul. Uh, sorry, folks, but I didn't see the foul. You guys can't see it, but I didn't see the foul. It's 33 to 30. Trimble Sack is up by three points right now. Allen picked up by Strange at the top of the key. In the corner it goes. Boucher inside. The ball is kicked. It's going to be taken away. Here comes Caroline. It's a one-on-one. -on -one. She'll put the lefty up. No good. A rebound pulled down on the other end. One shot. We're done. Ball is lost, but gotten back by White. Into the corner goes to Allen. Oh. She lost it. Granberry. Bryce is fighting, fighting for it. Jump ball is called, and possession will go to Granberry. Mercy. No joke. This game has gotten crazy. It has. I mean, it's gotten almost a little ridiculous. Uh, oh, well, no. I, I saw that coming. Ball is thrown away by Granberry. Three minutes to go in the third. This is a 9-7 third quarter. Shot up. Whistle blown before the shot. Before anything happened, another whistle from way out top. Who's he going to foul out now? That would be Morgan with her fifth. 
Oh, what's that? What? What? That's what? That's Morgan's. What? That Morgan has fouled out in his third quarter. Well, somebody had their assignment coming down here. I don't think I've ever seen Morgan North Coast foul out. I believe this is one of those things where this is one of Lita's deals where she makes the ref come tell her. Well, I don't blame her. I don't understand. I know. This was an obvious takeout. I'm sorry, folks. I hate to be this way. Wow. Her senior night. Yeah, I know. She's taking her time getting off the court. She took as long as she could. You get a minute to get off the court. This is this a this is a huge blow to Granberry Lady Bucks yes. tonight. Morgan going out with three minutes left in the third quarter. You gotta be kidding me. The game. Ernie in the lineup. Kennedy's going to have to take over, but she's got four. The ball batted away by Trimble Tech. Well, if you want a little flavor of Lady Fire basketball, you're looking at it right, right here for next year. So this is going to be without Morgan. <laughs> ball goes to Bryce. Feet inside to Caroline. She lost the handle. It's headed towards the sideline, and of course it will be. I know. No. Uh, yeah, okay, never mind. Sorry, lady, he doesn't see you. No. Unbelievable, folks. I have no words. I, I know, it's it's kind of... They're being... They did it the other night, the boys against Southwest. They're being really obvious about it tonight. Oh, okay. So... I just... I, I'm, I will call on tech. Yeah. Okay. 20, 35 to 30 with 210 left here in the third quarter. Ernie takes the ball back out to Caroline. Aaron will take the ball over to Amber. Caroline to Ernie. Kennedy. Underneath to Amber. Oh. Amber shifts. They said they pass. Tried to pass the ball about 800 times before they got the shot off, and it backfired. Bryce reached up to get a, a tie, but the possession goes to Trimble Tech. Wow. This game, tell you what. Yes, it is. Ball outside, 140 left. Cross-court pass. The drive is up. It's good. Jasmine Bitter for two. 37 to 30, biggest lead of the night for Tremble Tech. Inside to Bryce, underneath to Amber. She'll get her own rebound. Missed again. Bryce. Don't tell me they called the foul on Tremble Tech. Impossible. Green. Number 45, Bryce Frank at the line, shooting two. Bryce's first trip to the free throw line Good of the evening. And we've got a mate. You know, isn't it, it is kind of unusual. You know, we talked about that. The person that's been to the line more than anybody is Kennedy Shellstead. And your two leading scorers, and average-wise, this is, they haven't been there hardly at all. No. Right, two. That gives you a little taste of how off the Lady Pirates are tonight. That's I don't necessarily say that they're all off, but just how they aren't comfortable. Exactly. They were at the beginning of the game, but 
when you have that many fouls called on a genuine basis and you don't have a chance of anything happening, Allen will take the ball in and she's, they're not going to foul her. She's going to score at will. Crystal Allen for two. 39 to 32. She's got 20 points. That was so easy of an interception that time for Brown. Foul call on Caroline. That's already seven fouls on the Lady Pirates here. How many of that you got on the line now? Wait, who's... Well, that would have to... Uh, it would be on Aaron, I guess. That was Aaron's foul. Oh. Uh, 40 to 32, 38 seconds left here in this... I can just... You know, that worked. <laughs> I'm sure you guys heard that. That's the middle school. That was one of the middle schoolers. Get me a little. And he would shoot the free throw. That worked. Bryce Frank inside. Let me be Frank. Bryce now with 12. Kennedy Shellstead at 13 points, and she's no scoring right now. There's a two. No, oh. rebound underneath, up and down. Eight-point game. Ernie can't save it. Oh. Three-tenths of a second. And Caroline, did she take a header? I think she took one to the eye. Kind of looks that way, doesn't it? Can't function when you can't see. That's very true. 42-34 to 34 with... As I said, three tenths of a second. That's going to do it, folks. We got the fourth quarter coming up. Triple Tech by eight. You know, Lady Pirates are already in the playoffs. I mean, but yes. you can, they, uh, because of, there are only two district games left. We've got one on home on Friday night against the number two in the state of Lido. <laughs> and then if we finish on the road next Tuesday playing Arlington Heights there. So, the Lady Pirates, you know, it's the, but it's the, it's the, the thing of coming back and playing as good as they did against Trimble Tech tonight and still trailing by eight here in this fourth quarter. This is a toughie. It. Weird. <laughs> I have no idea. Exactly. 
But instead, that the lady part will drastically be affected by the outcome of the game. Exactly. Especially with the circumstances. Ball taken to Bryce. We are inbound back in play here. Caroline outside. Caroline will get the ball to Amber. Looking inside. Ernie from the corner on the three. It's short. No rebound, though. Brown, the bouncer on the run. Oh. Yes, it is. Ten-point lead. Number 22, Aaron back. That's the biggest lead of the night. Caroline, whatever they were doing, whatever the girls were doing, it's kind of, well, Triple Tech has also picked it up here in a big way. Yes. Caroline, over to Kennedy. Amber, she has oh. the ball. Caroline didn't take the three. Underneath it goes to Bryce. Lost the handle. Trying to get the ball back. And they're going to call a foul on Granberry. That was a jump ball, though. Sorry. 45 for about 25. Foul's on Bryce. Bryce's third foul of the night. Number 22, Aaron Backer shooting one and one. This was a, uh, what was it? We had cut to a two-point game, and they have really opened it up here. Yes. I'm not sure if it's the lady tech defense that's making us freak out because they've gotten so much tighter again. Yeah. Or if it's just we can't get something going. We just can't, yeah, we just can't get anything going. And, and you know, another thing about it also, uh, when you consider that we basically have just let them drive and score whenever they want to because we yes. can't foul them. Kennedy off on the three. Oh, 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 oh. Thank City Kennedy. Wow. That was like <laughs> solid three. He was out there. Maybe NBA. 13. They'll make that 18 for Kennedy. Eight-point game with 219 left. That was incredible. Caroline on the defense, Chris <laughs> Bradley. Thank you. Good job. Let's <laughs> park one. Because it's so hard, she duped herself out. Take her own self out. Aaron will take it to Kennedy. Cross court, Bryce in the paint. She's fouled, and Bryce will shoot two. Fifty-five to forty-seven with one fifty-eight left here in the game. Bye. Take it. Number one, Lakimble Matson in the lineup. One more coming here for Bryce. Here comes second time for Bryce. Man, I tell you what, you got a beautiful shot from the free throw line. Bryce and Kennedy each with 18 points tonight. It's a six-point game at 55 to 49. Lady Pirates entering pretty. Trying to look like a box, no? like yeah. a box and one on the defense. Look at look at Aaron. Look at Aaron fighting that thing over. She gonna call her for a foul. Holy smoke. At least that's only a parent's only second foul. Oh my gosh. Fans are in disagreement. First allowed at the line That was pathetic. Coach Andrews is in disagreement. Yeah. Right. Everyone's in disagreement. Uh, every, yeah. Here's Allen at the line. This her first one. Looks like Allen's got 25 points, but if you look at you look at the difference. She's their only senior. 
with Al Thurman in the lineup, like Granberry was at with Al Thurman yes. scored tonight. Let's see the difference in what's going to happen. But Allen is still in the game with 26 points. But their offense graduates next year. Yes. And she's been on the offense. She's gone. You got Bassett with nine and nobody else. Kennedy, cross court to Bryce. Bryce will go in. Pushed okay. it too far. 120 left. Ball kicked on ahead. Ernie out on the defense. Brown with the ball. Brown's going to be taking the ball outside. Oh. Kennedy is, is going to be called for the foul. Uh, looks like Kennedy's fifth. Probably so. And it is. Wow. Pretty pretty amazing though. I and I hear no, I don't not only that I've never seen Morgan North that fouled out of the game, but yeah. I don't remember the last game I called where we've had two girls foul out. I don't remember at a home game? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Weirdest game of my life. My goodness. I don't know what the Trimble Tech coach is, is bothering talking the official. Dude, it ain't going to happen. I mean, you got this one pretty well taken care of, dude. 57 to 49 is our score with 105 left here in the contest. One more coming for Trimble Tech. No good on both. Amber with a rebound. Oh. Amber will kick the ball ahead to Lily. Lily's going in. She got her own rebound. Takes the ball back outside. Gets the ball to, to Caroline. Ernie drives and will shoot. I'm, I mean, I'm not going to complain about getting that call, but. I know. That was a block. <laughs> well, yeah, now you know they don't call blocks anymore. They, oh, no. Even a clean block, when all you hear is ball, they still. It's a foul. Everything's a foul. It's just a different game. Back when you used to play, it's so changed so much. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> that was it's all in two years ago. Yeah, I'm telling you, all kind of go way back in the day. <laughs> two coming for early here. Aaron Jones will shoot two for us. 57 to 49, Lady Pike. <laughs> Missing on the first one. One more coming for Aaron. That's her first free throw of the night. So far, she's made her other four. 47 seconds left here in the ball game, folks. And she got it. That's five for Aaron. Timeout for the Lady Pirates, trailing by seven. And we'll take a Hyde Law Firm timeout right here on KTRL.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. 47 seconds left. The Lady Pirates trailing 57 to 50 to Trimble Tech. And again, what this has been one of my weirdest games. I've been calling it a long time, and this has been real strange. Oh. Good play by Lily Thornton to knock the ball out of bounds. Two. Lady Pirates have fouled out in a home game, and I'm just, really? Here are our little, yeah. our junior high kids are tearing it up over here. Encouraging the Lady Pirates to come on. Tribble Tech across half court. Ball back over to Allen. Allen, 30 seconds left. Allen what? is fouled oh. and dragged to the ground by Thornton. Well, number five, Crystal Allen at the line, shooting two. This is so Lily than one of her teammates. That would be Lily Crystal. Yeah, okay. So, I mean, she has one more to give if it comes down to that. Apparently, there's a flash in the stand. Yeah, so there is. That's not. You're not supposed to be doing that. And that's. I mean, I'm looking at it over here on this side, and I can. And it's blinding me. Thank you. You don't need, they don't need any help over 30 seconds left. Crystal Allen will be at the line. This girl has been on fire all night long. She's got 26 of the 57 points scored by Trimble Tech. And nobody else in double figures. Allen, they got 27. One more coming. It's a 58 to 50 game now. And got them both. 59 to 50 now. Much as I hate to say it, Crystal Allen has been everything tonight with 28 points. Great game for that senior. Ernie misses on the shot. Pass it another great game. Oh, Caroline almost with the steal. Whistle call. Back court. It'll be Granberry's ball, but. Nobody had possession of the ball. How oh. it been back court? <laughs> I can't tell you how. I mean, I'm agreeing with both fans now. That was a silly call. Take the ball into Bryce. Here goes Caroline. Caroline baseline. She'll put the shot up foul from the backside. Oh. Gets it back. She hits the side. Of the, Lily got fouled and knocked to the ground. Nothing called. And ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it. Our final score, Rebel Tech 59, Granberry 50, and we'll be back to wrap all this thing up right after this. <laughs>